Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So, what a, what happened now since they cured them? How does this play out in the newer versions? Well, we don't know exactly for sure, but I guess what will happen is that there's going to be a new, like, flavoring, which I kind of am okay with, but I also would have liked if, you know, can you kind of actually get people who did, like, Spider-Man and new anime series or even someone even better, you know, someone even better and do Spider-Man 4 the way it was intended. I would say also do Spider-Man 3 the way it was intended, but let's just go with Spider-Man 4 the way it was intended. You could do Spider-Man 4 with the new twists that you just added in, but I really want to see what was really Spider-Man 4 and 5 all about. That's what I wanted to see. Technically Spider-Man 4, considering they can make it as long as they want. Look what Zack Snyder did with Justice League. He can make it as long as he want. <laughs> I kind of sort of would like to also see how Spider-Man 2 would have played out when he actually did allow the lizard to be in there. I kind of want to see that. But anyways, the new, the new changes. So Norman Osborn returns. Does that mean he returns back to where he was? <laughs> it's like, yeah, let's notice that. Hmm. Where did they take him away? We don't know when he actually take it away. It was like before he died or something. So, I don't know. Hmm. It's like I'm trying to figure out. It's like I'm trying to figure it out. It's like, let's see. Maybe when he got that, <laughs> that would be cool. It's like the time that he disappeared was when he actually had the wall fall on top of him. Yeah, it's like, yeah, remember Spider-Man? He actually got a wall fall on top of Green Goblin. That would be cool if that's when he actually disappeared. That would be kind of cool. And then he he returns and he's cured without his mask, too. It's like, what the fuck? It was like, weird thing. It's like, what the hell? It's like, yeah, we won't tell Harry. We definitely won't tell Harry. So there you go. We have no idea if Norman Osborn would again do it to himself again. We don't know, but there's going to be a lot of freaking things that he has to deal with, though. A lot of things. Let's just go with his death first before talking about a lot of things that he has to deal with. So if he if it did happen to where he actually was facing Spider-Man for one last time and then took his helmet off and said, Peter, it's me and God's beat Spider-Man. <laughs> if that's what happened, then that means that technically yeah, he'll still be alive, maybe, because he didn't have his helmet off. Yeah, he didn't have his helmet off, and he was on his glider, so I guess maybe it was, hmm. So either way, I think he's not going to die in this case. Yeah, because he they interrupted their fight, so I'm pretty sure both ways he's fine. So he's alive now, hey, and... He still has some issues. So basically, they could easily say that the goblin's gone and stuff like that. But guess what? Um, well, technically, Norman Osborn still has control of Oscorp. He might still have control over it. Because, well, notice that even Harry got control of it over it. Yeah, but the thing is that if they do draw back where he was and he was the Green Goblin, then basically he's going to be charged with a count of murders. So I'm pretty sure he will get arrested, though. <laughs> it's like, yeah, unless, you know, Peter and Norman will just keep it hush hush. No one will know. No one know. I'm trying to remember, you know, so... Oh, don't forget that he endangered a bunch of kids and Aunt May and Mary Jane Watson. So that's a lot of freaking charges that he's going to deal with if they find out that he was Green Goblin. So if the Green Goblin is dead and gone and buried, then there you go. But it depends on what Peter wants to do. Because, well, he did kill a bunch of people. I don't think Peter will just be able to just, you know, let it go like that. I don't know. That's that's a new topic of where it's like, would he let him go? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Now let's go to Dr. Rock. Dr. Octavius. 
So that means that he was, he got he got Peter in his neck and he was choking him. It's like oh, uh, uh. yeah. It's like yeah, and I think that was like listen to me now. I think it was before that. It was before that. So it was before that. So sadly, he might still die from this. It was like yeah, I think his death might be screwed. He might be still going to die from this. Not unless, you know, the portaling, the transporting back to where he was, was a little bit of a simpler time. So, like, for instance, if he could actually have stopped it beforehand and he's back and he stopped it, then he'll be alive. But if we're taking him back to where it was exactly, he's still going to die. <laughs> he's still going to freaking die. Not unless you gave him something extra to use because he's still going to die. Damn, that sucks. I'm pretty sure he's still going to die. And plus, how can he live when Rose is still dead, though? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Poor Rose. Spider-Man 3, Sandman. So, oh, fuck. <laughs> he's like, oh, fuck. So, when did you take him away? It's a good question. I think most likely this is not even when Spider-Man 3 happened because, well, notice he's not going to truly attack Spider-Man. So since he's not going to truly attack Spider-Man, then that means that he... Wait, how can he go back to his daughter if his wife is completely a messed up piece of trash? Even in the novel, and I read it. His wife is even worse in the novel, hitting him, calling him a messed up word. His wife is a horrible person, horrible person, technically, get on him. Thank goodness that Penny might be normal and okay, but she's abusive to her freaking husband, the father of her child. I don't know what to say on that case. And besides, um pretty sure they want to actually arrest this guy because he did he did actually run away from prison so i think he's gonna go to jail again <laughs> yeah i think he's pretty sure he's gonna go back to jail so yeah it's either he's gonna lay low or what i don't know and we could even say maybe he did some heroic acts and people can vouch for him to the point of where he can actually get I don't know, reduce sentence or something. It's like, I don't freaking know. All I could tell you is that for him, you turned him human again. I think he should have just stayed as a freaking Sandman. So at least he's had a chance to visit his daughter a much times. Save people, I suppose. And not get caught by the police because the police are after him. But since you cured him, he is going back to jail. Damn. <laughs> uh, damn uh the lizard i think the lizard who knows how this would play out on the lizard's case we don't know when he got taken this could actually save um captain stacy this might actually save him we don't know yeah we don't know exactly when they took him but I will say if they took him exactly the right position, the right time, Captain Stacy most likely will be okay and alive. Nice. But if they got him afterwards, it's like it basically the lizard, it doesn't really matter. The only thing that matters is that if you actually cured him before or after Kip killing Captain Stacy. And even then, it's like, yeah, well, I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but. I guess technically Gwen Stacy could be alive, but in that case, it's like, mm, do you really think so? Because things would have definitely changed at this point. Yeah, it's like, yeah, because if you have Captain Stacy who is around, at least the good news is that he doesn't have any issues against things, but he won't be with Gwen Stacy. Well, he, yeah, it's like, I don't know. This, this is a good one where it's like, I don't really know. Would Gwen Stacy live? We don't freaking know. Electro, 
Mm, so that means that when he did get absorbed into the power grid and he does have a visual form, he'll return and he's back to normal. So it's like, yeah, you have this new factor too, where it's like, yeah, he's back to normal now. And it's like, oh, okay, so Electro doesn't have his powers to help. And yeah, I don't know. It's like, yeah, that's, that's the true of, I don't know. I don't think he's going to make any difference at all. It's like, yeah, he's like, he's just going to be nothing but a standby watching them. Like, uh, okay. <laughs> it's like, yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> He'll still know who Peter Parker is, though, I think. Mm, mm, I don't know. Yeah, but still, it's like the Green Goblin thing is still going to happen. The only question is, will Captain Stacy now still be around to the point of where he's there as well and... He's there with police, but I doubt that's really possible. And it's like, will he be able to save his daughter from falling? Yeah, he's like right down there in the, the clock tower, and he was able to catch her, but that's going to be like, ooh, it's going to hurt. <sighs> yeah, not to mention the fact of we have maybe, maybe he could save Gwen Stacy, maybe. But we have to see in the new repercussions of this. We don't know for sure. But of course, as we can figure, Eddie Brock was like, yeah, so Eddie Brock got sent back to where he came from. There's a little sliver, a little droplet of symbiote with him. And now that symbiote's going to take over to Cavana Boy and it's still going to have the freaking job of going to New York. I don't know why. Actually, no, it'll still look for Spider Man. It'll still look for Spider Man. But. Is going to most likely take over the Cavana boy over there or Cavana man bartender and it's going to keep on going till it gets to New York City. So that's going to happen. <laughs> and who knows that most likely will be like the end credit scene until it get to the point of where we get the black suit. But it depends on what they want to do. We'll have to see how this plays out. Anyways, I'm webbing out. Tell me what you guys think about this. Peace.